Konnichiwa anime enthusiasts and welcome to Anime Lore Unveiled, your one-stop destination for all things anime. We delve into the heart of your favorite anime series, characters and lore, dissecting them layer by layer to bring you the most exciting insights. Today, we're venturing into the cryptic realm of anime vampires, a topic that has fascinated viewers since the inception of the medium. From their mysterious origins to their complex characteristics, we'll be unearthing every dark secret these enigmatic creatures hold. So sit back, grab a cup of your favorite drink, and prepare to be immersed in a world where fantasy meets reality. And before we dive in, don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, and chidori the like button. Let's get started. Welcome to the mystery of anime vampires. Have you ever found yourself entranced by the beguiling allure of anime vampires? This query has undeniably haunted the thoughts of many, from the seasoned otaku to the casual onlooker who is merely brushing against the vast cosmos of anime. Within the realm of Japanese animation, vampires exist far beyond the conventional notion of bloodthirsty monsters. They are intricate, often misinterpreted entities, possessing a charm that is as captivating as it is perplexing. Enveloped in their bewitching gaze lies centuries of undisclosed tales, their everlasting youth, and their inconceivable powers. They are a riveting species of anime vampires that persist in ensnaring viewers from all corners of world. But what exactly is it that makes these nocturnal beings so captivating? How did they claim their space within anime's universe? And what distinguishes them from their western equivalents? These intriguing questions are the ones we aim to unravel as we journey into the heart of the vampire lore within anime. Anime vampires akin to their folklore counterparts are deeply entrenched in enigma and fascination. They are usually depicted as solitary entities, cloaked in darkness, yet their stories are richly woven with age-old conflicts, forbidden love affairs, and existential quandaries. Their allure is not merely limited to their supernatural capabilities. It lies within their contradictory nature, the ongoing battle between their monstrous instincts and their longing humanity. It's encapsulated in their immortal existence, a divine curse that presents them with infinite opportunities and eternal isolation. And who could overlook the series that breathed life into these captivating characters? From the grim gothic universe of Hell Sing, the romantic drama of Vampire Night, to the post-apocalyptic landscape of Seraph of the End, anime has gifted us with remarkable vampire tales that have forever etched their mark on the genre. Whether you find yourself drawn to their ageless elegance, their supernatural allure, or their complex narratives, the magnetic pull of anime vampires is undeniable. Embark with us as we journey into the shadows to unravel the enigma of anime vampires. Our journey begins in the early days of Japanese animation, where the first fangs were bared. It was in the late 60s, nestled within the pages of black and white manga, that the first anime vampires took shape. Drawing inspiration from traditional vampire lore, these characters were often portrayed as powerful and mysterious, with a penchant for the dramatic. They were the villains, the anti-heroes, the misunderstood, bearing the unmistakable mark of the vampire. Piercing eyes, sharp fangs, and an insatiable hunger for blood. The 70s saw the arrival of Don Dracula, a character that fused Western and Japanese sensibilities and gave us an early glimpse of the genre's potential for humor and satire. The series, while short-lived, was a testament to the flexibility of the anime vampire, capable of being both menacing and comical, often at the same time. By the 80s, the anime vampire had begun to evolve, shedding some of its traditional trappings for a more nuanced depiction. No longer confined to the shadows, they stepped into the light, grappling with their dual nature, torn between their thirst for blood and their longing for humanity. Series like Vampire Princess Miyu challenged the notion of what a vampire could be, introducing elements of tragedy and romance into the mix. As the decades rolled on, the anime vampire continued to evolve, embracing complexity and diversity. From the gun-toting anti-hero of Helsing to the anguished students of Vampire Knight, these characters have become more than just monsters. They've become metaphors for loneliness, for desire, for the struggle between our darker impulses and our better angels. The anime vampire is a creature of contradictions, a mirror reflecting our deepest fears and desires. They are monstrous yet beautiful, feared yet desired, dead yet eternally alive. Their journey from the pages of manga to the screens of our televisions and computers is a testament to their enduring appeal, their ability to adapt and evolve. From these humble beginnings, 
anime vampires have grown into a genre-defining phenomenon. The vampire, with its fangs bared and eyes aglow, continues to captivate audiences, reflecting our fascination with the dark, the forbidden, and the unknown. Anime vampires are not your typical bloodsuckers. They have their own unique charm. Dive into the world of anime vampires and you'll find a rich tapestry of traits that set them apart from their Western counterparts. Foremost among these is their supernatural powers. Far from being mere night-dwelling, bloodthirsty creatures, anime vampires often boast a plethora of abilities that make them formidable foes and intriguing characters. This might range from superhuman strength and speed, to telepathy, shape-shifting, or even control over elements. Another defining characteristic of anime vampires is immortality. While the concept of eternal life is not unique to anime, Japanese animation often explores this concept in depth, presenting it as both a blessing and a curse. The immortality of anime vampires often comes with a price, be it eternal solitude or the need to feed on human blood for sustenance. This often leads to interesting character development and story arcs as these vampires grapple with their existence, questioning the morality of their actions and the true meaning of eternity. But what truly sets anime vampires apart is their complex personalities. Unlike the stereotypical depiction of vampires as evil beings, anime vampires are often portrayed as multi-dimensional characters with their own set of morals, beliefs, and even weaknesses. Some might be brooding and aloof, others might be flamboyant and charismatic. Some might struggle with their vampiric nature while others revel in it. This complexity adds layers of depth to their characters, making them far more compelling than their Western counterparts. Moreover, Anime vampires are often characterized by their striking appearances. From their fashion-forward attire to their often unconventional hair colors, these vampires certainly know how to make a statement. Whether it's a suave suit, a traditional kimono, or a modern, edgy outfit, their wardrobe choices are as diverse as their personalities. In conclusion, anime vampires are a breed unto themselves. Their supernatural powers, immortality, complex personalities, and distinctive appearances make them a fascinating subject in the world of anime. These unique characteristics are what give anime vampires their irresistible appeal. Anime vampires have left their mark on countless series, capturing the hearts of viewers worldwide. Let's delve into some of the most popular series, where these fanged fiends take the spotlight. One that instantly comes to mind is Helsing. This series presents us with a vampire protagonist like no other, Alucard, a bloodsucker who hunts his own kind. Alucard's enigmatic character and his unflinching loyalty to the Helsing organization have made him an icon in the realm of anime vampires. Next up we have Vampire Knight. This series is a dramatic blend of romance and mystery set in a school environment where humans and vampires coexist. The vampires in Vampire Knight are far from your traditional bloodthirsty monsters. Instead, they are portrayed as complex beings with their own societal structures and moral codes, adding an intriguing depth to their characters. Last but certainly not least, Seraph of the End offers us a post-apocalyptic world where vampires have emerged as the dominant species. The series explores the struggle between humans and vampires, with our young protagonist Yuichiru striving to avenge his family and reclaim the world from the vampire reign. The vampires in this series are ruthless and powerful, yet intriguingly human, in their desires and dilemmas. These series have not just entertained us, but they've also reshaped our understanding of vampires. By presenting them as protagonists, antagonists, and even romantic interests, they've shown us that vampires are not merely creatures of the night, but complex beings with their own stories to tell. Whether it's Alucard's twisted sense of justice, the moral dilemmas faced by the vampires in Vampire Night, or the power dynamics in Seraph of the End, these series have used vampires to explore themes of morality, power, and identity. So, while vampires may be immortal, their portrayals are far from static. Anime has breathed new life into these age-old creatures, allowing them to evolve with each series and continue to captivate viewers. These series have immortalized anime vampires in the annals of animation history. Anime vampires are more than just characters, they are symbols, carrying with them a host of common tropes and themes. Diving into the world of anime vampires, one can't help but notice three recurring tropes. The tragic vampire, the romantic vampire, and the monstrous vampire. These are not mere character archetypes, but rather narrative tools that bring depth to the storytelling and character development in anime series. 
Let's start with the tragic vampire. This is a vampire who was once human and has been cursed with immortality. The tragic vampire is often depicted as a lonely figure, burdened by their existence. They're trapped in a cycle of eternal life and death, often longing for the humanity they've lost. This trope adds a touch of melancholy to the narrative, making the vampire a more sympathetic character and offering a stark contrast to their monstrous nature. Next up is the romantic vampire. This trope is a staple in many anime series, adding a layer of intrigue and passion to the vampire mythos. The romantic vampire is often characterized by their charm and allure. They are typically depicted as irresistible figures, drawing humans into their world with their mystique. Yet behind this allure often lies danger, creating a captivating blend of attraction and fear. Finally, we come to the monstrous vampire. This trope embodies the pure, terrifying aspect of vampires. The monstrous vampire is a predator, a creature of the night who feeds on human blood. They are often depicted as powerful and ruthless, instilling fear in both their victims and the audience. This trope serves to emphasize the vampire's otherworldliness, reinforcing their status as creatures of darkness. Each of these tropes brings a unique dimension to the vampire character, allowing for a range of narratives and character developments. Whether it's the melancholic tragic vampire, the alluring romantic vampire, or the terrifying monstrous vampire, they all contribute to the rich and diverse world of anime vampires. These tropes are the threads that weave the rich tapestry of anime vampire lore. From their origins to their unique characteristics, popular series, and common tropes, anime vampires are truly a fascinating subject. We've journeyed through their shadowy world, unraveling the mystery that shrouds these enigmatic beings. We've delved into their history, discovered their distinctive traits, explored the series where they reign supreme, and unearthed the common conventions that define them. As we close the cover on this guidebook, we leave you with a deeper understanding of anime vampires, these captivating creatures of the night. Before we wrap up, a quick reminder. Don't forget to subscribe to Anime Lore Unveiled for more deep dives into anime lore. Your support means a lot to us and fuels our passion for bringing you more intriguing content. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. We love hearing your thoughts and engaging with our community. And don't forget to Chidori the like button. It helps us reach more anime enthusiasts like you. Until next time, sayonara.